Knowing how to pitch your business well to investors is hard. Okay, public speaking may not be your cup of tea and yet. Um, not only do you have to often do it in front of a lot of people, they often ask you uh, very tough questions. So I put together these four tips for you to um, take advantage of so that you can pitch better. Number one, tell a story. When you're investing in a company long term, even though the investment is often a rational decision, there is an emotional component. And if you appeal to um, the investor's emotion, if you're able to connect with them, if you're able to charm them, you are going to be able to build trust that is necessary for them to make an investment quicker. Okay? And uh, we can uh, look to Elizabeth Holmes. Of course, she's a case of fraud. But she's been able to very successfully build trust with multiple very smart people because of her charisma and because she was able to tell a story so successfully that people could relate. Number two, know your revenue potential and talk about it, right? So it's very important to talk about your vision of the company, not just the things that you're going to do in the next year or two and where you are right now. People are not going to invest in your company because they like your near-term plan. They're going to invest in your company because they think you can change the world, right? You can disrupt an industry. You can disrupt uh, uh, a certain way how people do uh, uh, an activity or a business, or whatever, whatever it is. And because of your vision, because of how much impact you're going to make and, of course, how much money you're going to make, um, they're going to invest. Number three, and very importantly, know your numbers. Okay, it's financials and unit economics. It's a traditionally weak point for a lot of startup founders. It's very important to know it because that's what investors want to uh, pay attention to. That's the language that they speak and then uh, that they understand the best. So know your numbers, know where they come from, and know how to justify them. Don't just take numbers because they sound good or they uh, look reasonable. Take them because you've thought them through, you've done the research behind it. This is something that we specifically address here at the Startup Station because it's such a huge problem for early stage companies. And number four, turn a negative question into a positive question. And this is something that Dana Kanze did a TED Talk about when she realized that female founders get asked a lot of the question with a negative spin in terms of how they're going to meet their revenue goals or how they're going to make sure they don't overrun uh, their budget, etc. Instead, you want to address the immediate question that's being asked and you want to turn around and talk about long-term growth potential to make your company into an attractive investment and to get investors excited about being a part of the journey that um, that you're on. So, to learn more about fundraising strategy from the financial point of view and different financing vehicles and how they're different, take out course number five. And um, to learn more about the Startup Station, how we can help you make your fundraising process easier, go to www.thestartupstation.com. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.